have a heating and air leak, a leak in that refrigerant somewhere, somewhere that the system continues to leak refrigerant every year, you're having to add refrigerant and nobody seems to be able to find that leak or have the motivation to find it, I now have a way that you could find that leak easily, even if it's a small pesky leak. Now, first, full disclaimer, I have not been paid by anybody to make this video. I'm gonna talk about a specific product that you can add to that system without any special tools, any special extra equipment, anything like that. And we'll get to that in just a moment. But the second disclaimer is if you don't know what you're doing, if you're not a licensed professional, I would highly recommend hiring one. But I will say with this particular product, even someone with less skills, maybe they are just learning the trade that they should be able to use this product put the product in the system and then be able to find the leak. And so the product is called Flash Detect Inject. It's basically a hose with the fittings that you would need. You would connect it directly to your heating and air system on the high and low sides. You would push a button and then it would add it to the system for you. Again, no special tools. And I've had some of you say, hey, Josh, you've talked about some of these products. I can't seem to find anywhere to be able to purchase it. And now we do offer it on our store. If you go to new HVA guide.com and scroll to the bottom click store and you'll be able to purchase this product in addition to a few others there's also going to be a product on there called leak seal that has the uv dye in there and the hope and dream is leak seal would stop those leaks that are really small that you're you know it seems like you add a pound or two every year or so this product you'll be able to add it in there and it will hopefully stop those leaks but in the event that it doesn't then it has the UV dye in there. You'll be able to take a UV light and find that leak and then repair it permanently. I know some heating and air guys are not a fan of the leak seal products. I will say the only time that I use the product, if ever, is if the system is no longer under warranty, the customer's just trying to get a little more life out of it. They're all constantly, seems like every year, having to add a little refrigerant to the system and they're just trying to get a little more life out of it. And it's not a real big leak. If it is a big leak, you're gonna wanna go a different route. You're gonna wanna actually find that leak and you know pay the money to have it repaired permanently and the new refrigerant and everything. This allows you to leave the refrigerant in there, you add the product and it would stop that leak. So again, if the system's getting a little older, just trying to get a little more life out of it, understanding that if someone, along the way, didn't do things properly, they've added something to that system, atmosphere, or some sort of moisture to that system. If that's gotten in there, then this product could possibly gum things up like metering devices and compressors. So I would never add it to a system that if it's possible to find the leak and get a good repair on that. But again, you got your two products. You'll be able to buy them both without special tools on our website, the UV dye only and the leak seal with UV dye in there. We're offering them both now and you can purchase them directly on our website. Again, I don't have an affiliate program with either one of these products, but I've just had folks that have watched our videos and say, hey, where can I get these products? Now you'll have a place to do that. What are your thoughts? Comment down below. I'd love to hear about them. Some guys are not a fan of homeowners doing their own work, and I'm not either if you don't know what you're doing. But if you know what you're doing, you'll have a place you can purchase them if you can't find them anywhere else. Comment down below one way or the other. I'd love to hear about that. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I talk about where you can find a good HVAC contractor and ways to avoid bad ones. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.